Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of 100 Ways to Fill Your Sketchbook. Today we are looking at number 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20, so your next 5. And then we'll be at 20 ways, <laughs> already done. Um, I have to say this quarantine has me super lazy to even draw, so this took me way longer than it normally would have. Because <laughs> I haven't really touched my sketchbooks or anything, I've, I've been working off oils a lot recently, but still. Um, for the first one I decided on a supernatural creature, a vampire, um, just basic face with fangs you really barely can see, I, sh I, I don't know. I uh, used watercolour and pencils for this one and I actually had quite a bit of fun because recently I've been trying to concentrate more on faces as I haven't really put a lot of effort into faces and with my oil painting that I've started now um, I'm doing faces and y yeah <laughs> I'll I want to record a portrait with oil colors so leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of that and please consider liking and subscribing to my channel
So I do know that my um, camera angle is a bit awkward but I'm trying to figure out how to record currently because my usual setup is uh, not possible at the moment. Um, I actually really liked how this one turned out. It's a face I'm actually proud of and it's not skew or off sensor or anything like that. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this particular one but it was a bit challenging because of the hair because it's, it's kind of bold but it's not it's like little stubbles of hair so I had a bit of a, a moment where I had to like consider what I was going to do there and I'm actually really happy with how this whole thing turned out um, I think I would have been happier if I made the ears the points of the ears a bit more red and maybe the tip of the nose and the chin but yeah <coughs> For the next one I decided on doing a sleeping bunny. For this one I just went on to Pinterest and searched bunny photography and just used one of those as reference because I can honestly say it's been a few years since I've seen an actual bunny. Um, it was it was an interesting experience. It was also watercolor and pencil. I think for most of these I only used watercolor and pencil. Maybe next the next one I'll use mostly gouache. Um, it was also very interesting because it's such a light, little fluffy. The fluff was difficult. I don't. I think I need to work on my fluff. <laughs> And for number three, um, this one took quite a while because of all the dots, 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 and so many little dots. Um, it was butterfly, so 
it's kind of like a tattoo design I guess but not entirely because I can't really see anyone getting this as a tattoo as is but it was just like a doodle mostly um, I didn't really have a plan for this one as you'll probably realize later on in the video I just like sat down and did it and yeah this is how it turned out but I am quite happy with it um, it's not exactly what I had envisioned but that's fine too watercolor and pencil again and I'm using a Copic fine liners I've got a set of three but they're almost depleted so yeah <laughs>
And for number four, I decided to do something from like something that's happening in your life right now and with the lockdown and the masks and everything I just decided to draw a chick with a mask that she drew a little piggy on, a pig face on. Uh, it was also fun and interesting and my tiny human is pretty much very interested in this particular one as you'll see her pop in and out every now and again. Um, I had to, <laughs> I had to like abort mission a little while into here because she wanted to like have a look through my sketchbook. So I just like put off the camera, let her do her thing, and then when she was done, I continued. Um, other than that, yeah, that's basically what this one is. Um, and also watercolor and pencils and.
And for number five, also number 20, I decided to do your basic skull. The skull is always, oh, sorry, a skull is always good practice. And I used only pencils for this one. Um, I don't particularly, which pencils did I use? No, I didn't use my Derwent's. I used the new pencils, I think. No, no, I used the Derwent's. Yes, this one is Derwent pencils. Uh, there's not much to say about this one either because I mean it's a skull <laughs> but I didn't use any sort of ink or paint or anything just pencils as far as I remember and I, th I think I did learn a few things from this skull because usually when I draw skulls I just do like your basic basic skull I haven't done a super detailed skull in a while um, it is good practice because it helps with basic face shapes and everything as well and they say if you want to learn how to draw people you have to learn how to draw their anatomy as well at least that's what I've heard and yeah anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a big thumbs up and I will see you guys hopefully soon because we are in quarantine I need to stop being lazy and stop lying on the couch watching criminal minds and just draw and paint <laughs> Just, just maybe tonight. I'm, I'm gonna go watch Criminal Minds now. Bye. <laughs>